Hi guys and welcome back here. I am showing you the process video for um, my nephew's canvas and as you can see I am mod podging um, paper towels. Just pieces just randomly everywhere just to give a texture because I really didn't have a paper line that I wanted to use and I really didn't have it on hand so I decided to use whatever I had at home. And here's the cheesecloth that I'm cutting and um, mod podging it, if that's even a word. And yeah, so I just keep on, you know, putting in randomly and however it sticks, it sticks. So let's see, what else do I do? Oh yeah, I grab some tissue paper and just to add more texture. And I want the whole thing kind of like white, not so much with um, other colors so I did that and then I add some old paper with Mod Podge of course and I was just um, picking out a couple words that I wanted you know to be there my first nephew it's adorable so yeah I just keep on um, picking randomly um, words of inspiration for him I mean, you're not going to see all, all, all of them um, once I finish, but you'll see a couple of them. And those are just flowers I had um, left over for, from um, some flowers that I did for my sister's um, party that she had. I'll show you guys later in pictures, hopefully. And I just added some gesso because I wanted the whole um, background white. And then I'm using my heat tool, of course, to make it, you know... Faster, faster, faster. <laughs> you can't wait just to finish it, right? So then I'm using um, my cuddle bug to make some flowers because I didn't. I don't have flowers. I haven't. I mean, I don't. I haven't bought. You no, know, I am. You know, I am roses flowers. I wish, but I don't have any. So I did some flowers to. Um, Doing my project, of course, adding some ink that's uh, frayed burlap from Tim Holtz. And I think this is a tattered, um, tattered um, technique, I think they call it. And just, you know, wrapping it around, making big flowers just to put in my project. I have a little flower, so I want something bigger. And something with a little bit of glue in it, like glue light blue not so much I mean I don't have a lot of color at the end so yeah so still making them I put some hot glue in the middle to make it to make it stick faster and I cut the bottom of it so it could set in the flower correctly so you can see there and then I added a little little one to the top and then I added a button I had on hand there and a little pearl in the middle. So now I'm inking the edges, as you can see there, making it, you know, vintagey, shabby, I think you could say. And I'm watching the movie in the background, of course. I'm cutting some um, trim there that I got downtown. I've used it in a couple of projects already, and I love it already. I'm gonna have to get more. Become one of my favorites and more there. Just trying to do a cluster of things and textures on the canvas. And there's another trim, you know, the flat, flat, the square flat back pearl on it. And that blue one's not my favorite color. I mean, for this project at least. Um, but I'm going to gesso it, so it's not going to be that color. And that one, of course, too. So, there's that one. Just cleaning that piece off. And I'm, I'm not sure where to put that one, so I just decided to put it there. I want to paint that. It's really pretty. Gina, over at um, her channel, she um, bought a whole bunch of those. 
downtown as well. Hi, Dina. Um, and scrap analogy. Let's see. And I'm adding buttons there. And I'm gonna paint. I'm gonna um put gesso over those too. So because they're just all you know different colors, and I want them to look. No, be missing. Just paste or gluing them down with hot glue, of course. And that um, mesh thing on the bottom, I just found it in my backyard, so I just got a, a little piece of it. There was a scrap, so it was kind of hard to cut, but I did it and I, I brought it into that project, to my project. Oh my gosh, this is my first voiceover um, with this computer, so bear with me guys. <laughs> um, now I'm um, doing a little ruffle at the end with um, coffee filters. So, you know, get something in that corner to add my flowers at the base. So I found my little buckle in my stash as well. My mom went to downtown, of course, um, and she found all these buttons, so she picked the ones that she wanted and gave me the rest. And I like them. They're all fun and different and different colors and textures. So there, yeah, as you see, I'm Mod Podging the colors out of those other ones. And I did a little bit on the ruffle for the coffee builders as well. And a little buckle too, just to bring that up. And of course the heat tool, just to make th things faster. I just love making canvases, they're just so fun and I just love them. I don't know, it's just I guess the process of them making, you know, putting all these things together and what you get, you know, at the end. So I am now putting um some sprays that I got at Michaels and just coloring that you know the orange because I don't want any orange on it and just making the twig with a little bit of white on it. And just you know it's gesso. I hope she likes it. It's going to be a gift, of course, for my sister's baby. And made it with a lot of love. And I hope she appreciates it. Of course. She loves my stuff. So. And let's see. I'm just picking out more sprays there. And this is from Michael, too. I got them really, really cheap. They're like 25 cents or something like that. Or 20 cents. We put you know their cells for like after Thanksgiving or after Christmas. So just putting them all over, and um, I like the color that you know the the gray silver ones, the metallic ones. So I just left this as is. I just want you know that little teal. This I um this one's for her baptism. She's baptizing her child. So this is what I'm making her. And her theme, or the color that she's using for the party, is teal. So I kind of wanted to do the same colors on this canvas. Added some petals from downtown as well. And I'm just pulling. Oh, I have some little flowers. I think that's all I have right now. Little flowers. And just putting them. And you know the little bare spots. Coming along. And I think that's those are wheat sprays. Yeah, those are wheat sprays. I got them downtown too. And I just coiled the end of it. The towels. And that little butterfly came from the Dollar Tree. I saw some sprays that um um had butterflies so I bought some of those and that one is a stick pin with a couple hearts and that crown came from Michael's you know their two dollar bins 
see the picture of the, my doll on it here. Just putting, you know, extra Mod Podge just to seal a couple things in. And I did not use that at the end, so disregard that. <laughs> it's a little um, wood veneer piece. I got that at Michael's, and I'm just tinting over with um, braid burlap. And, um, but I wanted it to be darker, so I did um, Lindsay Stamp again, the Moon Shadow Mist, and it's Moonlit Mulberry. So I did that. We have a couple of sprays, so we have you know not a lot of choice, but that was pretty good. And I paint that with gesso, and I end up not using it at the end, but it's okay. I did use the bird the bird cage at the end though, so. And the ticket, this is a regular ticket, you know, from the Dollar Tree that, you know, when they were selling them back then, so they only have uh, red ones and green ones now, so you don't have the white ones. And those folders are from Tim Holtz. I end up using, I think that's patchwork, but I didn't use that little um, sign. Um, I used the honeycomb for the birdcage. And I love how the, um, that came out, the texture of it is really nice. So, well, as you can see, I added the ticket and I added some wire to that little hanging plate. It's from Tim Holtz, I don't just have it on hand, what it's called. And I added some more trim down where the ruffle's at. And I added, I don't know, I guess I was just wondering to see if Leo would fit and how it looked with those, um, chip roller. Chipboard letters, and no, I like it. So I went with um, what is it? Uh, the thickers, and let me see if I can reach here. Um, Maurice, Maurice Kissy. I'm not sure how to say that. Marquise or something. <laughs> so yeah, I decided not to use that and just added the whole name Leonardo, and I wanted to clean that space before I decided to ink. Do, do, do. Just pounce them on each, you know, lightly for it, you know, not to be so white. More of a muted, soft brown color. Love gray burlap. It's really, really nice. So a really soft, subtle color. And I matted the photo with um, the same paper that I did the flowers and a vanilla, like, like a soft vanilla color on the bottom. And I added some doilies on the bottom, but I'm not sure if I wanted to do it like that. So I added some inking around that photo, the mat, and inside as well too, just to give it a little bit more pop. So it could pop you know? I did do the, both of those doilies, but at the end I only used one because I think, I don't know, it was only sure, so I just added one for, you know, interest and more texture. Texture's fun! So, I'm saying if I want it like that or like that, um, I don't know. I guess I was not <laughs> fine with those two things. So, I just at the end, just one. Just adding some hot glue and then adding that little linear tag with the letter D and added more of that braid burlap. So now I'm just gluing these down just to make sure that they're secured. I'm adding the hot glue on each ladder just to make sure they're on tight and they stick. It takes a little while for each letter, of course. <laughs> and Leonardo is long. Name. Leonardo, there we go. So, I'm still debating on, on those doilies, as you can see. Goodness gracious. Okay, so, come on, come on. So, at the end, I just used one. <laughs> and I just added some foam um, squares at the bottom. And I glued that with hot glue, the, doil the doily. So, 